Well, staying with the theme of child education, and Ethiopia ranks as one of the worst countries in the world for child labor. By law, children under 15 are not allowed to work, yet it's estimated that nearly 60% are doing so by the age of 11. And that means they're missing out on large parts of their education. One solution to address the problem is a scheme to offer children a second chance at learning. BBC reporter Anita Nkonga reports from Addis Ababa. For 15-year-old Philippos, the morning routine starts with breakfast before getting ready for school. Then it's a long but worthwhile journey to class because for Philippos, this is his second chance at getting an education. I enrolled in school when I was 12 years old, but I dropped out later because I had to help my mother pay the bills. We're not using Philippos' real name or voice to protect his identity. Children under 15 are not allowed to work in Ethiopia, but for many families, it's essential for survival. I don't want to work, but we have problems. I feel sorry for my mother because she is working all by herself. I'm just trying to help her. I work as a mason and a carpenter assistant. I also work as a ceramic assistant sometimes. There's a lot of work I do, and I do whichever job is available. But here, Philippos can just be a teenager. Children at this school in Akaki are part of a second chance program, also known as an accelerated learning program. It's a program that seeks to help those who miss school the first time due to various reasons, catch up with their studies and hopefully join their age mates back in a conventional school system. The second chance program is run by the Luminous Fund, a charity that works in partnership with local community organizations and the Ethiopian government. I mean, education is the first weapon and the most effective weapon to fight child labor. To date, uh, we, we've reached over 152,000 children who never had any education opportunity. The United Nations Children's Agency, UNICEF, says the main underlying factor pushing children into labor is poverty and that the effects of poverty were made worse by family situations like orphanhood, a parent's inability to work, or a large number of siblings. UNICEF also cites obstacles to education including high costs, long distances to schools, or social unrest, along with an overall culture of seeing children as family assets. Nearly a quarter of Ethiopians live in poverty, despite positive economic growth in the last decade. But that growth has been heavily impacted by the COVID pandemic and the civil war, which began in November 2020. The government says it offers training and support through its income generation program, which aims to encourage women into work instead of relying on their children. We bring them together, working together, and giving them a loan to, to protect their children from the child abuse and the uh, child labor. But for children like Philippos, who's had to support his family, another chance at education has helped open up new opportunities and renewed hope. A second chance at school a second chance in life. That's what many children here and across Ethiopia are hoping to have. Anita Nkonge, BBC News, Addis Ababa.